everybody, it's Dr. Vinay from Northwestern Hair. And today I wanna to talk to you about the difficulties of getting a hair restoration in your hairline. Now, a lot of you will probably get to know me after the consultation, I like to tell it to you straight. And there's one thing I like to tell people when you get your hairline done that you may not get your full expectations. Um, and why is this? Well, there is a balance between naturality and density when it comes to your hairline. The hairline has to look perfect. That means when we go and get hairs in the back of your head, we can only use uh, grafts that have a single hair per graft. We can't use any grafts with two, three, or four, because even something like a two can look like a plug, so only single hairs. These hairs cannot be placed directly together. There is tissue underneath them that needs to incorporate your body. That means you have these low density grafts that can place some distance away. That means that the hairline density is going to be less. So it still looks natural, but the density is lower. Now there are some people in the community um, that do what we call high density grafting. We can definitely do this for you. The only downside to this though, is we might burn up a lot of grafts. We wanna make sure you have those grafts for your future. So my impression is, okay, let's do the front hairline. Let's make it look good. We're gonna have a little bit low density, but let's see how you like it. If it's something you don't really like, we'll just add some more density and we'll have a discussion about how do we save graphs for the future. But that's the main difficulty with the hairline. I don't want you thinking that a hairline is the easiest thing in the world to do. And I don't want you to have other teams promising you the world on your hairline. The real trade-off is naturality versus density for a hairline. I think most people would go with naturality. 